Anna and the magic coat. Anna and the magic coat. Anna looked out her grandmother's window as dark clouds piled up in the sky. I hope it doesn't rain, Oma. Anna said. Remember what Alpa told you, Oma said. A little rain makes all things better. Not school picnics, said Anna. True, Oma nodded. Rain and picnics are not so good. Anna looked at the box of cupcakes with pink icing. Oma and Anna had worked hard on them. Rain is not good for cupcakes either, said Anna. Oma trapped her chin. I wonder if you could," she murmured. "What?" asked Anna. "No," Oma said. "You were too young. Tell me." "I was thinking," said Oma, "about Opal's magic coat." "Magic coat?" asked Anna. "It's a long coat, gray as a cloud, that hangs by the door," Oma said. "Quick as lightning!" Anna ran to get the coat. A sailor gave it. Alpa long ago," said Oma. "Whoever wears it can choose the weather." Anna put on the coat. "Woof! Magic coats are heavy," she said. He, she took her cupcakes, ran outside, and shouted at the rain clouds. "Be gone!" At once, a wind played at Anna's feet. It lifted the bottom of Alpa's coat and spun up into the sky. The wind slices through the clouds, and the sky turns blue. It works," sang Anna. "Wait," called Oma, but Anna was too far away to hear. Anna set the cupcakes on the picnic table. "Tag, you're it," said Jada. Anna tried to run after Jada, but Oppa's coat wrapped around his feet. "You could run better without your coat," Miss Storm said. Anna peeked, peeked at the blue sky. She undid the top up bottom of Opa's coat, and a breeze tickled her cheek. She undid the second bottom, and the breeze blew stronger. He undid the third, and the black coat went over the sun. Oh well, I don't like the tag anyway," said Anna. She buttoned up the coat, and the sun came back. Hide and seek," shouted the children. "Miss Storm is it." Anna hid behind the tree. But Appa's magic coat stuck out, and Miss Storm found her right away. At last, it was time to eat. But Anna was so hot in the magic coat that her tummy hurt. She could couldn't eat one bite. Darn this magic coat! Anna said. What fun is a picnic with no games or foods? Food. Anna undid the bottoms of Opa's coat and took it off. The wind swirled around her feet up into the sky. Black clouds piled up. The fat raindrops fell. Everyone ran into the gym! Shouted Miss Storm. The children grabbed her their plates and ran inside. Anna hung Opa's magic coat on a hook. Who wants to play red rubber? Jada asked. I do, said Anna, and she ran quick as lightning to play.